Hi, this is Damon Laverance, and this is a review of Mini Connected. So we're in our long-term Mini Countryman right now, and uh, it's equipped with the Mini Connected system. Um, Mini Connected is essentially the mini version of iDrive, and um, a lot of the functionality, if you're familiar with iDrive, a lot of that functionality uh, carries over. Uh, it's based more or less on the same architecture, the same uh, the same OS, so a lot of the elements carry over pretty cleanly. Um, Mini Connected, it's about a $2,500 option. Um, it's available on pretty much every vehicle in the range, including the uh, recently introduced Coupe, and it'll be coming to the Roadster pretty soon as well. Um, Mini Connected uh, is a suite of services, so you've got your normal uh, navigation services, um, Bluetooth, uh, telephone, and audio streaming, uh, auxiliary and USB inputs, iPod control, and that kind of thing. Um, and just to kind of go over the um, uh, a few of the features really quickly, so there's two major um, elements to Mini Connected. There's the uh, central screen embedded in the speedometer, and then there's these three um, switches mounted on the transmission tunnel. Um, the major input device is this um, kind of joystick, kind of a pseudo D-pad. Um, it allows you to move up, down, and left and right. Um, it also allows you to uh, twist things around to scroll through. Um, the other button is the home button. That allows you to um, go back to the home screen whenever you need to. And then this uh, button right here uh, allows you to either page through your most recently used um, uh, elements, so that would be uh, external devices, navigation, telephone, or when you're in the actual Mini Connected portion of Mini Connected, which sounds a little convoluted, but bear with me, um, it allows you to uh, go through certain menus and iPod out and that kind of thing, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but anyway, so the most of it's pretty standard fare. Um, telephone, obviously, it imports everything from your Bluetooth contacts. Um, We've got uh, the radio system, which streams both AM, FM, and satellite radio. Also, this is where Pandora is going to show up, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the next sitting is CD Multimedia. Um, it allows you to input either um, USB. There's a phone cradle that we don't have installed here, so uh, that allows you to just dock your iPhone into the system and call it a day. Uh, Bluetooth uh, streaming audio and then an aux front. Now just to point out really quickly, um, this cable, which runs I think like two or three hundred bucks through Mini, um, has the 30 pin uh, connector that plugs into your standard uh, iDevices, iPhone, iPod, whatever, and also the 8-inch uh, jack and the USB connector. Now, it's important to note that you can't actually use your iPhone or iPod without both of these cables. You can't just plug it in to the USB. The 8-inch has to carry the audio in, and that's important to note, so you can't just come in here with your standard white uh, iPhone cable and plug it in. Um, the uh, nice thing about having this, though, is you still have an aux in for this 8th inch jack, um, so if you don't want to do uh, uh, streaming Bluetooth if you're using an iPod or a Zune or something like that, you can use this. After that we've got settings, which allows us to do everything from time and day adjust, language units, tone, speed, um, speed warnings, software update over the year, software updates, which are kind of cool. Um, vehicle info is actually really interesting because it gives you onboard info, uh, range, uh, consumption, speed, if you're doing navigation, it'll break down the destination and arrival information. Information. Um, the other thing with this is it also does vehicle status, so you can actually uh, go through, check out your tire, uh, your tire pressures, um, service settings, and any uh, check engine lights that are popping up. Um, office is pretty standard. Navigation, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, the graphics are really nice. Uh, it has live traffic, so you'll see the red. Uh, yellow or green lines on your route if you're navigating somewhere. Um, the traffic setup is actually really nice both from an at a glance and also this traffic info function where you can go through and see what the traffic situation is around you within about uh, 100 miles. Um, so you'll see different icons. One car means traffic's okay, two cars means uh, traffic is getting a little backed up, and three cars means it's start and stop. Um, the other thing with the navigation is it allows you to do point of interest searches. We found the point of interest search is honestly not the most intuitive or easy to use. Um, we've tried a bunch of different restaurants, bars, venues, and our, our, our batting average right now is about 50-50. So it's not, um, it's not the best uh, setup in the world, but that's where Mini Connected comes in. 
Um, so what you'll need to do is you can get your standard iPhone. We're using a, a 3G model. We plug this in, and as soon as it loads up, we click on the Mini Connected button. Um, now the Mini Connected app itself um, goes through, it'll actually log the um, fuel level, um, all the information we saw in that standard service screen earlier. Once it connects though, we can go to Mini Connected and you'll see it auto-populate when we go to plug in here. So, let me go back one. So you see it pops up with news, Facebook, Twitter, Google search, and uh, a few others, and I'll show those in a minute. Um, news, you can import your own RSS feeds. Uh, Facebook, I don't have it hooked up, but you can see status updates, that kind of thing. Uh, the Twitter integration is pretty trick. Um, not that you really need to read your tweets while you're driving, but um, we've got a, uh, you know, a, a pretty good UI. You can click on something, um, have it read to you if you wish. So if I want to go back, let's try... Uh, if the lions pull this off, I will have a cow. Thank you very much for that, Chris. Um, and uh, like I said, Facebook integration's pretty trick. Um, the major thing is, uh, which we really like, are the two Google features. Uh, Google search allows you to search either your current location um, at your destination or at a different location. Um, and we found we use that more often than not to find things in the area. If we don't want to use our phone while we're driving, if, if my uh, wife's in the passenger seat, she can type in something here and it can pop up and we can navigate there. The other thing I really like though is the Google Send a Car functionality. Uh, what Google Send a Car does, let's say you are on uh, Google Maps. You found a location that you want to navigate to, but you don't want to have to you know, send it to your phone and plug it in when you get here. What you can do is you can click the link button in Google Maps. Um, and it'll give you the option to send a car. You select the make and model, you're entering your username, and it sends it directly to the car over Mini Connected. It's a really, really trick feature. Um, and honestly, probably saved me uh, several minutes of plugging in stuff afterwards. Obviously, we don't have anything um, uh, in the queue right now, but uh, like I said, it's a feature I'm using more and more often. Um, last thing on here is web radio. Uh, web radio allows you to uh, import, uh, it's like something like 10,000 different radio stations across the uh, world. Um, it's all, of course, streamed through your phone's uh, data connection. And uh, the functionality is pretty good. Uh, we're normally getting anywhere between 32 and 48 uh, kilobits per second, so audio quality is generally pretty good. Um, and it's it's a neat feature. It's not something I use too often. Um, what I do use a lot, though, is both the plug-in feature and the um, Pandora application. So I want to show that to you right now. So um, once I get out, once I get back into Mini Connected here, I click the plug-in button. And as soon as I get the option to activate the plugin, I click that. And what it does is it uses Apple's standard now iPod out functionality. And basically what it does is it duplicates what you'd see with your iPod screen directly on the Mini Connected screen. Um, so we can scroll through playlists, artists, albums, songs, genres, composers, all that stuff. And also, when you've got a track playing, it gives you the name of the song, uh, album art, all the all the standard stuff. And again, it's a UI that you're very familiar with if you use an iPod. Um, the major thing we like to use, though, is Pandora. Um, and what you have to do with your phone is actually launch the Pandora app, and it'll come up and start trying to connect. Um, at that point, you can scroll over to the multimedia functionality, or I'm sorry, the um, the radio uh, the radio function. And once it loads up, once it recognizes that um, we've got Pandora running, so you'll see Pandora pops up here. What I can do is click Pandora and it automatically pops up with the album art, the name of the song, and uh, the artist. And then all the standard Pandora functionality is here. So you've got, you can skip tracks, thumb up, thumb down, uh, you can bookmark a track to save it for later, so if you want to purchase it, and obviously you've got access to all your different stations. Um, this functionality has actually been really great. We've been using this a lot more recently. Um, 
We'd love to see something beyond um, uh, some of the new streaming music services, so Spotify, RDO. Uh, thankfully, uh, Mini and BMW are now implementing a system for Mog Radio, uh, which is one of the better services. Um, according to them, they chose Mog over some of these other services, mainly because they have a, a higher streaming uh, audio quality. Um, but we'll probably see some Spotify and RDO integration in the near future. Um, you know, overall, we're really, really impressed with the Mini Connected system. Um, there's a f kind of a few UI issues that we have uh, we have problem with, and and to be honest, the learning curve at at first is a little steep. But that said, it's not that steep that it's um, the barrier entry is too high. Um, we found that it took us a few weeks to, of really playing around and, and using it on a regular basis to really get comfortable navigating through some of these things. Um, you know, using as an example the plugin for the iPod interface under Mini Connected, but having to go to radio for Pandora is a little bit odd. Um, but overall, like I said, we've been really happy with the system. Um, you know, whether it's worth the 2500 bucks is really dependent on um, whether or not you just care about streaming audio through your phone, having a slightly uh, more distraction-free environment. Um, but overall, we're really, really pleased with the system.